Just got done finishing up with a live. Just got done finishing up. Literally the same thing, but yeah. We did a little bit of a live doing a hair get ready with me. I wanted to do like a half up, half down with the scrunchie and then some curls, but this Strands of Love clip-in extension that I shared with you in the previous vlog ended up being a little bit too thick for the tiny little pony that I made on my head. So I just ended up going for like a high pony with some curls and I'm about to get dressed. I have my outfit over here but before I, before I get dressed I wanted to say a special shout out to those leafies that learned me a couple of Zulu words. I've been trying to learn and I've been learning as you kind of comment Zulu things like I learned Semchle is beautiful. I obviously know Nyabonga and um what was the other one? Were you longing for something? Sobowol. Gosh, you see, I I forgot. <laughs> but I'm trying and really excited to learn a little bit more. But this week was a really, really exciting week for the world of entertainment and I'm really excited to be partnering up with DSTV for this portion of the vlog. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes, how I create my DSTV post. So in the middle of the week, I think it was Wednesday, where DSTV announced so many add-ons and launched so many different things. I made some notes for my content as I always do. You know I do this. So I'm going to do two videos and then I'm going to do a story. So the one video I'm thinking of doing like a, um, it's a video, but it's going to be a moving photo. I don't know. I'm going to show you how I do it. So basically I need to do 10 shots. So what they did was DSTV launched, um, you know, a whole campaign around ditching the decoder and ditching the dish. So now you don't need a decoder or a dish to be able to watch your favorite shows on DSTV. And also um, there is something called DSTV communities where just like Netflix, you can have a couple of users. You can kind of share this subscription between your friends or your family or whatever the case may be. And then they also launched DSTV rewards. It's just a couple of hashtags that I have over here that I'm just making sure that I get my shots for that. So DSTV Rewards is basically getting rewarded for watching TV. I mean, what? That is so cool. And then um, for 99 Rand, you can get over 300, 300 movies on your DSTV subscription. Um, the World of Sports, Home of Sports, super, there's a new uh, Super Sport app. And then I'm going to focus on Chasing the Sun, which is a nine episode documentary series, I think, um, around winning the World Cup. I just need to do a couple of research things with that. So that's my first piece and then still kind of brainstorming for the second piece. But I just wanted to bring you along. It's a lot of information. <laughs> I'm sure everyone was really confused when they saw the hashtag DSCV showcase literally buzzing on social media this week so yeah just told you a little bit about it i'm going to show you how i film my content i have a little blue scrunchie for dstv and then i want to do all denim so i have a denim jacket and some denim jeans need to get a top that kind of matches this color i think i have a little tank top i just need to go find it and then i'll show you some behind the scenes <laughs> Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip Jeff, nah, Jeff, 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 oh, flick, 
the switch, kill the lights. Okay, so I um, did a little bit of prep this morning as I was making my notes and kind of like my idea scope for what I want to do. I find that if I don't do this, I just go off track and I just, my mind kind of wanders and I go off topic. So for me to not do that, I need to have a list of everything that I have my mindset on because if I just shoot just for the sake of shooting, when I go to edit, I just have too many options and I can't decide and I don't have like a proper plan. So I try and plan it out and just do like a proper story or like an idea of what I want to do. So this morning I did some stories like I just showed you on um, all of the hashtags that we are going to be covering for this DSTV showcase. So obviously the first one is DSTV showcase, watch um, DSTV, DSTV rewards, communities, ad movies, storyteller, home of sports, um, super sport app, chasing the sun, show max, all of that. So my idea for this is to do like a live photo. I think I've seen a couple of these on Instagram before. So my idea is to just shoot a video and doing 10 different poses for the 10 different hashtags and then kind of just doing screenshots. I film by myself so I can't like take photos so I'm hoping that the quality is going to be okay. I'm just going to do a video and just do like a screenshot and then just edit each and every photo and then I'll compile them back into a video and then it'll look like the photo is moving if that makes sense. Um, hoping that it will turn out good so I'm going to get started on that and um, yeah, show you some behind the scenes. Oh, wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing With the wheels Don't stop turning Okay, so I literally just finished importing the footage I just wanted to make sure that it's okay And that I don't need to reshoot Because I would hate to sit down and edit tonight And just have it not be what I wanted and I'm glad I did that because I kind of noticed that my phone has a little bit of a glare so I might just need to like take sh some shots of my actual phone and just kind of insert it into the clip let me show you what I mean can you see what I mean over here see the phone has a little bit of a glare and I want the black of the phone to be black so I think I'm just going to take some shots of my actual phone and of this little background and then I can just like insert it on top of the photo <laughs> I know we're acting stupid of an outfit change i just finished up with my dstv content and i want to quickly just take a photo before sitting down and editing all of that i um had a little bit of a call with dstv and just shared my ideas with them i'm only supposed to do one video it's supposed to go live tomorrow um so that's the video that i'm going to do now and send to them and then i'll post it tomorrow but the actual idea I had in mind involves Brain, my fiance, if you are new. And to be honest, most of the new updates with the DSTV showcase involves sport, almost like half of it. And let's just be honest, you won't catch me watching DSTV by myself. Hello? Hi, Jessica. Yes. Uh, you're speaking to each other from Capacity. Yes, how are you? I'm all good. Um, I'm by the gate. So I got a delivery from Brittle Fruit, but I'm not sure if I can show you just yet. Let me just wash and sanitize my hands. Sorry, I just had to run to the gate quickly and accept my delivery. It looks like it was from 
well it was from brittle fruit but it looks like i can't share it with you because it's for september content and it's not launched yet so i'm not going to get into any trouble so i'm not going to show you but it was from brittle fruit um anyway what i was saying was you wouldn't catch me watching sport on dstv by myself that's what i meant and I mean, I'll watch it with Brain when he's watching his Arsenal game or, you know, cricket and rugby. But very, very rarely will you catch me go to Super Sport when I'm by myself. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like having Brain part of that piece of the content will just deliver the message a little bit more authentically from, from my part as a content creator. Um, but, yeah, my mouth is so dry. I need to take a sip of water. Put this little lippy on it matches my handbag um, and then I'll take some shots for momentum and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the post and all of that the lippy that I'm gonna use is the L'Oreal lip paint it's a matte one and it's in the shade 205 apocalypse red <laughs> so thirsty my mouth is so dry today anyway I need to take this lip product off because it's literally going everywhere anyway let me do my tweet quickly I'm sitting on the floor because my phone's on charge and so is the camera but I'm basically working with momentum all across August for women's month and just to you know, owning my, in owning my success and amplifying other women and cheering other women on and just not being shy to say, you know what, I am a successful woman. I am proud of what I'm doing. And my mom always used to measure her success based on, you know, doing what she loves. She woke up every single day, her entire life, doing what she loves. She was a like decorator and interior designer and she made homes beautiful spaces and yeah she woke up every single day doing what she loves and yeah in that way I feel that I am already successful you know but sometimes when you achieve things you I just feel like I don't want to brag because I don't ever want to kind of give myself that that satisfaction that I've made it, if that makes sense. And just, you're always trying to be humble, but it feels good to own it and just to say, you know what, I am strong, I am successful, I am independent, and I do not take a no for an answer. So today's post um, is all around calling on South African men to fuel the momentum of women and um, to create a space for business women to use their voices and take action. And so yeah, I'm gonna share that. I have my tweet ready and I'm just gonna paste it. So basically what I'm saying is it takes a certain grace, strength, intelligence, and fearlessness to take no for an answer hashtag she owns her success and then i tagged momentum yeah i just feel like being a woman that just refuses to take no for an answer and refuses to to hear that you will not be successful or you will not be a leader in your industry you will not be independent um it kind of drives especially me, if someone tells me that I can't achieve something, I work even harder because I know that I can do it and you kind of want to prove them wrong, I guess. And so yeah, I did that tweet just now. I want to do a post for Instagram as well. I'll probably tweet that as well, but I don't have a lot of followers on Twitter and I'm only getting used to Twitter now. I, I've only had Twitter for a little bit. And I'm not very active on the platform. I'm trying to, but I feel like Instagram and YouTube is kind of like my platform that, you know, I know my feet around and just that I'm comfortable with. So I think I'm just going to do an extra post for Momentum just to make sure that they have value to this campaign. I've worked with them in the past and, um, yeah, obviously working with them for Women's Month, but I just want to make sure that they get the value that they're obviously paying for um, and I'm just scared that my Twitter is not going to deliver for that because I think I have um, like 7,000 followers on Twitter and then like 
nearly 40,000 on Instagram and over 50,000 on YouTube. So it's difficult to um, you know, kind of balance those. So I'm just trying to substitute with Instagram. Um, but yeah, let me get that up and let me get to editing and um, hopefully I can show you the end result. And I'm going to take all of this off and get nice and comfy. The only way we know how to do it. Kill the lights. Used to be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Good morning, Liffies. Or oh, I think it's afternoon. It is Sunday, and I edited my DSTV video on Friday. Yesterday was just a little bit of a family day. Now that lockdown is a little bit relieved, we visited friends parents and this week we are actually going to take my dad on a little family vacay I guess we booked it a while ago actually and we were gonna cancel it but now you can travel between provinces so it's just gonna be me brain and my dad but I'm busy doing my yaga orders so I have the Paxi I think it's called what's it Paxi, Brain is gonna help me. And I actually just want to write a little note. I don't have nice paper. Should I just write on this? I just want to write like a little personal note. Can you please give me the scissor? Scissors. this nicely so I have how many do I have okay so I have seven for the pip ones so I'm just gonna cut and then write a note and Brain is gonna help me pack them inside driving this like a spiritual cleanse where every mile is a new beginning and every friend holds a new end eyes on the road on Control. I'm speeding fast to chase my soul. I'm driving to get away. We are in the car now. Hello, my lady. Hello. <laughs> New to the vlog, Ne? Yeah, it's been a while. Show them your matching um, Arsenal mask. His dad got him this mask. But it looks like a kitty's mask. Yeah, it's a bit it's small. Really, it's really tight. My mask, where's my mask? Is also matching my outfit today. Got this one at um, Mr. Price. But we are driving into Clearwater Mall now. We are going to stop at Pip. And where's, where's Aramek? Is it Pick and Pay? Yeah. Um, to drop off your yaga orders. Yay! So we did that. It actually took way longer than I thought it would, ne? It kind of gives you a taste of what it feels like to own your own online store. It's a lot of admin, actually, so it I take... It took like 20 minutes to write the letters. Yeah, but it's, it's, um, it's personal to me, so I just wanted to write everyone a letter. I wish I had, like, pretty paper and but yeah, I didn't have. Um, but yeah, we're driving into Clearwater now. We are gonna drop off the orders and get something to eat. And we'll just bring you along for the rest of our Sunday. Hey. Neon lights in the fast lane life. Riding high, reaching for the sky. I had it all but lost and fell back down again. Spent my time. Playing the game where every single day was a losing battle Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find them 
standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me It's a new day once again and yeah this vlog is not going as I planned in my head. Sunday was just the most chaotic day. We had to do so many things like drop off those packages, we had to run, uh, run errands, we um, went to Brain's parents just to pick up a wi-fi because I mean we still have to work here this week so yeah we did that we went home we packed we cleaned the house because there is nothing that I hate more than you know going home from holiday and then walking into a dirty messy house so I wanted everything nice and clean and then we woke up really early yesterday morning to get here because brain has to start working at nine so we did a little bit of a work from like eight at wimpy and then my dad and I went to the shops to get some groceries for the week and just like little snacky things and then we bride last night it was so nice we just had a really chilled day yesterday so I didn't show you much I just have on a little sarong beach cover-up thing and I just have a bra on I need to put on a bikini um but yeah I washed my hair yesterday and I filmed some content just now I just did an unboxing like literally in the bushes and now I'm gonna go sit there <laughs> and like do my makeup in the bushes I feel like that will be I don't know quite an aesthetic vibe I think and this is our view from the room so I was literally like sitting there <laughs> doing a little unboxing and now I'm gonna go sit out there and film but yeah thank you for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog I really need to put on a bikini although I don't know I feel like this bra kind of looks like a bikini but anyway I'm just wearing a long leopard sarong from guess that I got um, in the summer and I'm just wearing it with some sweatpants shorts. I actually cut these myself. I um, got these from Zara and they shrank in the wash a little bit. Sorry, I'm like flashing you. They shrank in the wash a little bit and they were not as long as they were anymore or like before. So I decided, you know what, since I don't really have like summer clothing in my wardrobe and I know it's going to be hot this week it is boiling here and um yeah I just cut them myself and they are quite comfy and you know, casual but still kind of cute I guess I really hope that you enjoyed this manic vlog with me and I will see you in the next one bye ladies